Hey everybody, it's Ron Howard, Joe Powell, Uncle X Lights, whatever you want to call me from Extreme Sequences. I'm here to bring you some information on the latest release from X Lights. That's 2022.14 that was released on July 10th, 2022. As I make my way back to normalcy after my amazing trip with my family out to the Christmas Expo in Biloxi, Mississippi. Uh, we are back and, uh, you know, getting used to the different time zone. And it was time for me to make a video on 2022.14. Now, keep in mind, this uh, release did come out the first day my class started at Expo. I was teaching a three-day class that was hands-on, and everybody was asking, uh, should we go to dot one four? And I said, uh, not necessarily. Not necessarily, but um, on the last day, I did go to dot one four, and there were some reasons maybe we should have. Unfortunately, those never really make the release notes on what you should do for what reason because of this, that, and the other, and so it was sort of uh, an interesting thing. I did have a sequence in that class, uh, one of mine, that crashed every Windows computer in that class uh, during the render stage for that sequence. And thank goodness, Eric Schultz found out that it was on the Grand Illusion group, and once we deleted some effects, now how would he have found that out? That guy is a genius. But uh, it, it worked, and we were able to move along our way. No big deal. But I will say dot 14 is uh, pretty impressive. I'm really liking it. And I'm going to go over some things that I think are noteworthy. I won't touch on every one of these. Uh, the developers do a fantastic job each and every time they release this stuff. And uh, I appreciate it. And I think you guys do too. Let's look at this first one. Add a tool for remapping custom models to alternate pixel layouts. Whew. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Okay, so there is this tool. When you click on tools and you scroll on down here to remap custom uh, model and you click on this and all I want you to do before trying this is read everything it says here and see if it's something you really want to do. Uh, for my show and everything I do with x Lights, this is what I'm going to do. All right, let's go on to the next one because I'm going to need to see a use case for that <laughs> to better make a decision on uh, whether I want to play with that. I doubt I will ever use that in a billion years, but I could be wrong. Make random effect generation cancelable. Thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. Okay, so here's something I don't really use a lot because I think it's sort of senseless. If it helps you sequence, uh, you got lucky. I, I, I'm not quite sure I get this, but anyway, right click. Effect presets, nope, nope, nope. Create random effects, here we go. And the creator says, look, this may take some time. Guess what? I'm gonna click on the background, I'm gonna hit escape. That's right, it took no time at all. I'll do it again, I'll do it in slow motion. Roll the dice, watch it go. Hit escape, and it will just stop it. All right, um, I guess it's good because if I was doing a lot of these and I wanted to put this in all of these all the way across let's put one more over here let's put a little T in there and let's do this and let's I'm just curious how long would this take to do this uh, create random effects go for it this may take some time go do some laundry boil some water for tea no I'm tired of this click in the background hit escape quick it's done all right and then you do this then you go up here and you delete those and you learn how to properly sequence. All right, let's move on to our next one. I think we're gonna be back in the layout tab for this. I'm not sure, let's go for it. Add option to RGB cycle testing to tag every 50th pixel. I think that could be useful. I see where Keith is going with this. Uh, we deal in 50s and 100s and 25s and all this kind of stuff. So add option to RGB cycle testing to tag every 50th pixel. So I suppose when you're testing this live and you see your pixel, uh, there's gonna be uh, the 50th pixel, I suppose will be a different color or blinking or screaming at you, I'm not sure. So again, uh, more training wheels for those that aren't willing to uh, to uh, you know go the extra mile and, and learn how to do some of this stuff. Allow user dictionary items to override the 
understand, I don't care. Allow visualizer and upload support for APA101 compatible pixels on the WS2811 port. I think this has to do with a particular protocol that gave some folks that bought this new uh, floodlight that was uh, RGBW. And we were on one of the Thursday night calls going over this and that this is a, a floodlight from uh, Wally's lights. And it worked perfectly on any of the Colt controllers, but on the Falcon controller, uh, it just would not work. And we went through just so many different variations trying to get this to work. We weren't gonna let it go. We just, we really wanted to make it work. And it was just one of these things where it was impossible. And I think uh, Keith fixed that to allow this protocol to work with it. So hats off, thanks for that. At host specific media support to FPP Connect, great, thank you, Dan. Add backup restore process. This is kind of a cool one. Very, very, very cool. You know, when you when you need to, uh, you know, first of all, everything should be set to backing up. That should be turned on. I like to have it back up on startup. So no matter what I start that day, if I need to, at least I can get back to that. But when you do have to go find that backup, typically you're going into the folder and you're looking for specific dates or you're changing the, um, the, temporarily you're going to change this to go hunt for it well that's cool but i think there's a better way and i really do appreciate this we can go up here under file restore backup and now what it's going to do please choose the open seat okay it will not let me do this while i have a sequence open so we want to close this sequence down so make sure you go file close sequence we really don't need to save that once you have done that we can be be back over here and click on the restore backup and it's going to say, great, where do you want to back up from? So this gives you dates. So I really do like this. And we're able to restore from here. That's pretty cool. Now, you may want to do this temporarily the first time to make sure it is the world and then make that your permanent backup if you're in the right one. All right. Love how it gives you some information over here. Uh, it might have some sequences in that particular layout to give you a clue as to uh, if it's the right one. If you're in the world that looks right, but you only have one sequence or no sequence, chances are that may be too far back. And you need to go find something that has your latest sequences in here, which typically means the most, possibly not, but could be. Uh, so I think this is just another example of how x -Lights continues to evolve to make the user experience just that much better. Boom, let's go to something else. Here we are. Fix some issues where multiple audio devices exist. This was a this was a thing in uh, dot thirteen, where uh, I noticed this right away. Um, luckily, I just finished putting out some sequences and uh, recording, but uh, this would not play from my speakers. No matter what I did, I couldn't play from my speakers. It was forcing all the audio from my MacBook Pro and that has been fixed. So thank you for that. Dan, that was a very welcome addition to uh, making life better in x uh, Fix some crashes where render buffer needs to be larger than the model uh, fix. Excellent, thank you. Fix fractal IV wave effect. I haven't looked at this. I don't know exactly what the problem was, but just know it's been fixed. I, You know how many times I've used this particular part of wave? Uh, 0, 0.0 times because I've never liked what it does. It just sort of does something and boom, it's over. That's it. So maybe something's been fixed that's been not fixed for a lot of years. I'm looking forward to trying it. Uh, fix playlist item duplication and FPP upload. That's always good. We don't need duplicates. And thank you for that, Dan. Uh, let's see. Keith has fixed some ripple parameter scales on S5 import. I don't import from uh, Laterama at this point in time, so it doesn't do much for me. Fix roto zoom ordered, not save. That's probably fairly important. Fix issues with audio file upload to Falcon V4. Uh, I would say that's going to be issue uh, uh, a good thing to have if you're playing your show from Falcon V4. Uh, I don't don't know um, I don't like doing that I prefer to use uh, FEP or X schedule for that fix export as custom model does not export depth so in the 3d world you have your uh, height and width and there is the depth for some models it might be important to include that depth uh, cubes uh, heck it could be trees could be um, uh, Pixel Force, so that's awesome. Uh, da, 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 da. Fix some duplication and transition time Como box behavior. 
No clue. Fix video reported as missing if using sequence media. Hmm, that's interesting. I didn't know that got broken, but uh, apparently it's fixed now. Fantastic. Fix color error in sketch effect. Love the sketch effect. And uh, anything that Scott's going to do to fix that, uh, fantastic. Fix issue with pie head upload. Don't know, don't care. Fix fire effect crash. Uh, I didn't know fire effect was causing crashes and maybe I should start using it more. I don't know, but it's fixed. Thanks, Scott. Awesome. Fix some issues with model state dialogue. Boom. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Mock. M-O-C. Love it. So that's pretty much it. Uh, I've been working with uh, 2022.14. I feel it's absolutely safe to go to uh, on the Windows side and also on the Mac side. Again, I'm not really sure what happened in class with a sequence crashing everybody's Windows computer uh, on 2012, 13, and 14. Uh, I hope that's not an ongoing issue. That's just going to be a can of worms. But, uh, you know, I'll just cross my heart and, you know, my legs and just hope. Hope is, hope is a strategy sometimes. But anyway... I digress. I'm super happy with this release. You guys go out there, get you some of this dot .14. I feel it's safe. I'm giving it my stamp of approval until something breaks, and then I'll just say, well, pff, don't listen to me. All right, I gotta go. You guys take care. Have a great week. See ya.